Good evening, everyone. Justin Trudeau simply cannot continue to govern this country now that Canadians know what he has done. And that is why I am calling on Mr. Trudeau to do the right thing and to resign. Further, the RCMP must immediately open an investigation, if it has not already done so, into the numerous examples of obstruction of justice the former Attorney General detailed in her testimony. The testimony Canadians have just heard from the former Attorney General, Jody Wilson-Raybould, tells the story of a Prime Minister who has lost the moral authority to govern. A Prime Minister who allows his partisan political motivations to overrule his duty to uphold the rule of law. A Prime Minister who doesn't know where the Liberal Party ends and where the Government of Canada begins. Let me close by saying that we have entered the final stages of Mr. Trudeau's government. He can no longer, and in good standing, with a clear conscience, lead this nation. As we enter a critical budget debate and with other pressing matters of public interest in need of action, Mr. Trudeau's cabinet must now find a way forward without him, and I urge them to do so. They have a duty to govern this nation, not help a disgraced Prime Minister hang on to power. It shouldn't be this way in Canada, and it doesn't have to be this way in Canada. We should be a country where all are equal under the law, where nobody, regardless of wealth, status, or political connections, is above the law. And I believe we can be that country again.